All right, we finally got 30 million downloads, but I I need to I'm a little lukewarm on it because they kind of hyped up 30 million downloads, especially uh, Tucson that he said it was like going to be the big one. Um, but I'm not going to deny this compared to a lot of the other download campaigns is a huge jump. There is a significant quality increase with this uh 30 million downloads so we'll just go through this uh pretty quickly and then i'll go to the summoning ticket and just like briefly go over those servants um or like my like my opinions on getting those servants from the ticket because by the way uh free uh ticket for all permanent and story lock servants i believe all of them uh i need to double check if um the oc3 or OC uh, permits are in this ticket. They might not be. Uh, it would really suck, but it is what it is. All right. So first, SSR ticket. Uh, you just have to get them bond five and level 60, and then you are good to keep them. And you just have to get this uh, done by, is it November 30th? Look, yeah, no, it looks like December 30th. You have until the 15th to actually get the ticket. So that there isn't there isn't much excuse for why you can't get this done. All you have to really do is like log in and like level only slightly. And if like you choose not to get it, that's kind of your that's your business. Um, this isn't going to be a permanent addition like the other one. This is a special ticket uh you have to get it like now like, it's not it's not like 20 million how like if you clear Fuyuki, you get a five star this is you got to clear this like during this event um if you don't get it done they go away so uh these are all permanents tesla um lance artoria cats we made the Shuen, who alters Seed and I. We have Nito Alter. Go back to Lancer. Bima? No Bima. Okay. So this is only going to be the servants pre or D. These are the only the five stars pre or deal call. So no Marie Alter. No Bima. Um, is that it? That might that just might be it just bima and marie alter that aren't included um i know people were probably expecting an ssr ticket like limited that's not gonna happen they give us gssrs and destiny summons i i i don't think for 30 million they're gonna do it maybe 10 year 10 year anniversary they might let us pick a limited uh five star but i don't think for 30 million downloads especially for how long they put this off um but yeah, so briefly going over this, I like this um, menu now. All right, so briefly, if you don't have one of these three sabers, you can pick them. It's not a problem. They all perform pretty much about the same. Uh, she can pretty much loop on any Mystic Code. Uh, she is highest buster farming from starting from 50. So like their event farming uh, AOE saber, and she's able to start uh, from zero as long as the C has OC and do like really good black damage so jack of all trades master 50 percent master of oc black rail uh juna I, I his competition is just like too stiff for me to like recommend anyone to summon for him he's kind of like he he's like one of the bottom tier five stars like i i would not pick him um like even it like Pretty much any of these servants, I wouldn't recommend you pick just because they're permanents. They might show up on any banner, uh, like in general. Um, but standouts here are definitely Enkidu, Ozzy. Like, I know I was going to break this down, but this video is going to just take too long. So uh, any of these sabers, um, Enkidu, Ozzy. Mm, 
yeah i i will say um shanzong sanzong um obviously either waiver or tomo uh if you don't have them although if you have you should have picked if you don't have waiver you probably should have picked him from the 20 million um yeah either one of these two i would probably pick them up if you don't have them uh i am tempted for tomo but i'm just gonna have to hold i'm really just gonna have to hold all right so going to the story locked although i don't know why vitra here is here because she's not story locked or tomo tomo oh oh this is just no um this is just the new servants from the 20 million oh okay got it yeah so that's why this is a mix of limited and um or not limited story locked and like just newer permanents all right so dioscari is permanent tommy tomo's permanent mitra's permanent odysseus is permanent taigong's permanent nemo's permanent uh Ashton koji's permanent Galatea is permanent. Nido Alter is permanent. Right? There, there is no difference. So your story locks are Tesla, Lartoria, Cats, Mabe, Lee Shuen, Ku Alter, Nido Alter, Seed and I. Uh, out of these servants, the most relevant in the current meta is I'm gonna have to say Tesla like he he's the one that's like kind of like sitting pretty right now like it, like he is like pretty much at he is pretty much like an apex character um if you don't know what that means he's like top of it like of his class um he's the only one that count like gets relatively close to gilgamesh because this is not them showing a niche neither one of them this is showing a niche and it, um tesla is like a like 10 percent lower than gil and they're both getting se it's like ishar kind uh kind of can come close but he can't touch black rail so th this is like pretty much the only way to get this number up is by attack you can't really do anything about the ce oh no wait that's the case for both of these uh never mind but yeah like ishar has so much raw attack that the best thing to do for her right now is Mm, no, nah, nah, I'm not gonna have this conversation right now. Um, but just Tesla, if you don't have Gilgamesh, he is gonna be like the best AoE uh archer in class. Uh Liz Artoria, she has fallen behind her competition so hard. Uh she got screwed over on a on her Buster buff, and she can't double stack it for double bitch Oberon. But if they give her something for cooldown reduction, um she she actually has a good chance of being able to black rail loop and in the same sense as um a rush right i think her mana burst is five turns okay yeah so hers is on a six but she has a skill that reduces the cooldown and then um we have a pen five to reduce it even further so that you're actually able to do like black rail looping. So a rush can black rail loop. Uh, yeah. Damn it. I wanted this to be quick, but of course I'm gonna let it be quick. All right. So yeah, if if they buff her um Lartoria's charisma and they give her cooldown reduction, she is going to be able to uh black rail loop. So, but that is a hypothetical buff. Not known if they're going to do it. Would be really nice if they did, but eh.
Yeah. So because this is all um this is all permanent and just some some of the story lock, not all of them. It really is just pick whatever servant you want. Um I'm like really, really tempted on Tomomo just because like my JP account doesn't have one and it has actually been like screwing me over. Especially for the recollections. But there are more issues on JP than that, and I don't I don't think I care enough about my JP account to like really be like full future proofing, but ah, yeah, no, I'd rather not pull a limited. I'm someone that like always tries to go for new characters over anything. And new as in I don't have it across all my accounts. So hmm. it's like characters I wouldn't go for on my main that I don't want to summon for. But for me, that's Kets. Kets is the only limited servant. He is the only limited servant I do not have on any of my accounts. Besides Tesla. Tesla is the exception. And Tesla is always going to be weird because I have an MP5 Gilgamesh on main. So like me going for Tesla on this account or any of my accounts is just going to be weird. Um... Honestly, I might just pull Tesla on my free to play account. Yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do. Um, and probably just save Kets for main. Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see when this comes around. But for me personally, I'm just going to pick a story log servant. Because I can't pull them unless I actually choose to pull them. Or some dickhead makes me pull on story for no reason. All right, we got to move on. So yeah, this is just saying like, um, uh, it will, it, and it will tell you whether you own the servant or not. All right. So this is just retweet, get the ports, uh, logging bonus, 30 silver fruits, 30 gold fruits, 30 million QP, 300 mana prisms, 30 St. Uh, Saint Quartz. Just a lot of threes here. He's pretty nice. Card dash. Don't worry about it. Log. Um, returning bonus. Don't worry about it. Doubling pure prisms that you get through doing quests. It's gonna be a lot. I'm. I was super super happy about this. Um, and this note here just says that they are already in your post. Like, it took me a second for the date. Um, but yeah, if you already uh, cleared it when this goes live, you will already have them in your post office. Now, if you fully cleared out the shop for mana prism, uh, for pure prism, like you pull proofs and their example and you're out, they gave you a ticket to refill it. But it's only for this one thing. It's only for this one mat. You don't fully reset the shop. You are refilling one map. Um, it's not known. How we're going to get more of these, but. It looks like around December, the so right, probably right before the next lottery is when we might get another one yeah like at the start of december next whole bunch of missions uh it's not fully translated a lot of this you can just do like just playing the game I don't, I don't think any of these are going to, like, really take up your time that much. Um, MP of the servant you pick 
and you get uh xp so like i i would not worry about these you'll get them done like fairly easily and you have until november 1st to do all this stuff but it starts on sunday so not now this doesn't start now uh add it to the man of prism shop lots of shit uh i'm kind of in trouble because i don't have enough mana prisms right now uh that i'm going to be really taking advantage of the third ap when that comes up and i hope it like it fully clears clarifies what it is rare prism exchange oh yeah, yeah. here's a big one you can buy teapots in the shop every month So, you buy them in October, they expire the end of November. You buy it in August, it expires in September. You buy it in December, it expires next year in, uh, for January. This is awesome. I am tired of waiting on the game to just like randomly coming up with an event to do teapot farming. I'm so glad I get to just like off the rip do uh 10 days of the 90 star star a month that I know I'm getting like max uh bond points for. This is probably how I'm doing my teapots. I'm really glad I didn't do them last night off stream. Like I am so glad I didn't do them last night off stream. Uh yeah, so 300 mana prisms or 10 teapots oh wait, no, no no sorry yes 300 mana prisms for 30 teapots not 10 30 that is three 10 days of storm pods that you can use teapots on every single month for 300 mana prisms that's one hell of a fucking deal just make sure you save your teapots for 90 star star or at least storm pods in general like there are so few nodes that come anywhere close oh wait uh oh right because different t bots have different expiration date right all right um i think i think how they change that is just like make teapots like they'll just end like they'll sync up like if you get the i think they'll make it the same way the shop ones how like on na like you would get it like right now currently you would get storm pods or teapots from i keep mix, mixing them up you would get teapots from doing the super recollections but those teapots expire next week off some bullshit. i have to use six i have to find a way to use 69 teapots like efficiently without like getting too close to the end of the event which is going to fucking suck I'm probably gonna have to wait until the like last day for teapots and just use them on the hardest node that I possibly can. I believe the next event isn't gonna be starting from like level 20, it's gonna start at like level 70, like the Gura Gura event. So it's not like you're gonna be that gimped, but I would like as much bomb points as possible for my teapots. So anything to help duration and just like planning is just welcome uh you can buy more fan seals this one is mp gain so watch out for that uh and you buy them from rare prisms too you can buy these old ce's from the rare prisms and these are like the friend points with like 2.5 percent bonuses um they're good if you're farming friend points not really for farming anything else because like 2.5 percent bond is like literally nothing it's like 60 for mm, 2.5 percent of 3,000 uh, uh 25 75 yeah no it's nothing this is nothing when it, when you you shouldn't be putting these on for store pods uh 
if you're looking, the QP one is okay because we're talking about millions. Uh, like percentages of millions is like actually translates to a decent amount, but 2.5% still is like not worth. The like, but again, friend point summoning, or not friend point summoning, but friend points. Uh, when they run like the times two friend point campaign, uh, these do add up. And if you just like bone farm during that time, like you get like basically free friend points, like not lotto level, but it, it is like you're farming bones and then you get like, I don't know, 17 times the amount of bond points, you know, damn near close to 70 times, um, at least 10 times, like more than 10 times. You could easily get a 10 times bonus on friend points during a times two campaign. Uh, that's from the base amount though. All right, uh, more CEs. This is the big one, Ox King. You see this in so many setups and I am actually screwed on NA. Like I literally do not have enough buffs to be able to clear some of the um, super recollections. This is how um, people like Plushy are able to like squeak out more damage. Um, they just run this on like a bitch and then just plug suit her out. Uh, and Ox King, I believe just applies a 15 buster buff for three turns. Yeah, no, this is a very much in uh, much requested uh, CE to bring back. But I don't have the mana prisms for it yet. Uh, these are in the rare prism shop, but uh, so both of these are in the rare prism shop, but if as long as you um, are in part two, they are free to get. You don't need rare prisms for them. Uh, these costumes are also in the rare prism shop and you can get them for free as well. Okay. So. Okay. So let me explain how this is going to work. Because this gets real, this gets really, really, really interesting. Okay. So, if you are farming mana prisms or QP, mana prisms is this one. These three give the same amount of mana prisms for completion, and you can even get five stars in this one. But why would you pay? more to do this if you're getting the same amount of mana prisms why would you pay slightly more for this if you're only again let me clarify if you're only looking for mana prisms for like this is slight is slightly more effective unfortunately we can't get down here but that is what it is but like looking at this cost it's like literally three so if you like if you really only care about um the mana prisms it is this but like this is this you can do 14 runs this you can do 10 runs like it it does start adding up like how many extra runs you can get through but like this really is you pretty much have to turn your brain off for this and like you just get more bond points for doing this so it's like a give and take do you care more about the mana prisms or do you care more about the bond points however bringing it back if you're farming qp you're only going to be doing this you are only going to be doing the extreme you are going to be getting 4 million for 13 ap in a full day's reset Meaning you can do like you get being generous 260 runs. You are getting 80 million QP a day without without um using storm pods. With storm pods, 
bring that down to what is it? One four, one sixty. Yeah, around one sixty. Um, you're still getting like upwards of like fifty million a day easily. So, whether or not you use apples on this node or during this time. It depends on you and if you're really willing to wait for a lotto for a QP. If you are QP starved, you're going to do this. What about the training rounds? If you need skill gems, if you need skill gems and pieces, run these. Run these. They are three AP. uh like this right now is like actual friend point and mana prism form because yeah the base number of bond points for this is 115 and you bring this down to three So let's bring out the calculator. And I'm only comparing this to the max spawn points, by the way. Uh, oh, wait, is this? No, that's Ember Gathering. Okay. Yeah, at this point, this is basically a farming node for... Oh, okay, hold up. Basically, this is the bones node, but better. Like the Fuyuki node you run, this is that, but more drops can happen. However, it's for a. F it, if you're looking for bond points too. Like, this is only if you're looking for, like, the low mats and, like, friend point farming and, like, other shit. Like, you're not going for, like, the higher tier mats because your drop chance actually, like, gets worse. Like, if, you, if you're good on the gold and, like, these higher things and it's mostly, like, pieces, you're not going to get the drops you want from them. You're better off farming here for pieces. Like skill gems just do a lot of. But pieces, I understand why people are, like, lacking this because of OC and you don't want to use storm pods for this just run the three ap node and just run it constantly until you have as many pieces as you need um but if you're looking for like actual mats this isn't a bad time to be farming mats uh in general you should not be farming free quests just because these nodes are the same like extreme nodes are the same as like free quest nodes but you're doing it at almost half the ap cost so this is where you should be spending all your time. Um, this lasts till October 20th. So more than two weeks. We get more than two weeks on this. I'm I'm happy. I'm happy. You can use Oberon for all these places too. Uh, triple success rate. And the servant you pick in your campaign with your ticket on sunday that is going to have times three xp so if you plan on 120ing yeah let's go back up here if the servant you pick off here is not your first copy you're picking the copy to bring that servant to mp5 and start 120ing them that's not a terrible idea um let me just double check whether you keep uh yeah let, let me not get ahead of myself right now uh oh is okay use it when after officially joining Oh. 
That is so fucking. Oh, unfortunate. Yeah. yeah, effects won't stack. Like if it's that you pick Europa from your ticket, you're not gonna get the time six chance. It's just gonna be times three. And then also, only the servant you pick with the gets the triple XP. And if you use that five star to strength thing, it doesn't count. That is unfortunate. Um, then 50% power mod for whatever, um, whatever limited or whatever character you pick from it. Three more friend slots. And that is it for 30 million downloads. Am I, am I slightly underwhelmed by it? Like for me personally, the pure prism update is actually like really 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 nice uh it means i can be less cautious of using pure prisms because like like especially for the low star mounts like the proofs like you would burn through those pretty close uh quickly although i realize now you probably should be using on proofs just because of how easy it is to farm them especially now uh like any advice i would give um during this period if you were going to pull from the shop, I would double check that you couldn't just farm it when it's like when these training fields are like this efficient, like this is saying at half, like 41 uh, bond points per AP. This is, we're talking about a third. We're talking about a third. My calculator. 1850 divided by... 62 bond points per AP times all, all your characters. Like this is, this is going to be a good bond point point farm in time. Uh, I would not expect the next event to start until probably the 17th. Whenever Oberon's uh, banner ends. Yeah, like maybe the 20th, uh, yeah, 18th, 20th. That's what I'm expecting uh, the next event to probably start around. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, just thought I'd help people out a little bit before the wiki got updated. And yeah, see ya. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.